A theory sent in by a viewer of the channel has me really thinking. Did Qui-Gon see his death just before it happened? Now in The Phantom Menace, Qui-Gon, Maul, and Obi-Wan are all separated by plasma shields. As we see Qui-Gon meditating while Maul paces back and forth, this is just a perfect example of Sith First Jedi training and mentality. Now the theory here is, was Qui-Gon calming his thoughts and replenishing his energy? I mean, he was old. If you haven't seen my Why Did Qui-Gon Lose to Darth Maul video that I made years ago, go check that one out. So was he just actually meditating to replenish while he waited for the shields to go down? Or was there more to it? Was he actually able to see into the future and perhaps even see his death? We do know that he was training with the wills. Qui-Gon is the one who learned how to transfer his essence into the Force and become a Force ghost, who then taught Yoda, who then taught Obi-Wan, who then taught Anakin. So perhaps, let's say, he did see into the future a little bit, knowing that this was the will of the Force. Now, Qui-Gon was extremely dedicated to the will of the Force in general, essentially saying, if that's how it happens, then that's how it's meant to be. It's fate. Whereas the Jedi started to bend the Force to their will by fighting for political ideologies and becoming disillusioned with how the Force was, which had been used in a certain way for thousands of years, the way Qui-Gon used it as well. And this is partially why Dooku left the Order. I digress. So while Qui-Gon was meditating, maybe he actually saw that he was going to die, and instead of changing fate, he allowed it to happen. Now if he didn't, and survived, he would have gone on to train the boy and Anakin Skywalker wouldn't have turned to the dark side. I fully believe that, just like Dave Filoni said. He'd have had Qui-Gon to discuss all of his issues, including his dreams about his mother suffering and Padme dying. I believe Qui-Gon could have made Anakin the Jedi Master everyone hoped he would have become. But then what? Anakin would go on to lead the Jedi Order for the rest of his years, training many Jedi and protecting the galaxy. That wasn't balance like the Force wanted. It was what the Jedi wanted. It was their prophecy, not the true prophecy of the Force, which in the end did bring the final end of the Sith. See, I think in order for there to have been some sort of balance, it wasn't for Anakin to live, but for him to actually die. I think Anakin was always destined to turn to the dark side. It wasn't like, oh, I need to save Padme, so I'm just gonna turn to the dark side because Palpatine is telling me that I can save her if I do. Anakin always had a draw. To the dark side. He was pulled there, always, his whole life. He was the complete opposite of Ben Solo. Anakin was by nature a dark side dude. However, he wanted to be in the light because he felt that that was the better choice. He had a profinity to turn to the dark side. It was like he was constantly trying not to use his emotions and anger when he would fight. Whereas Kylo was always forcing himself to be more evil. It didn't really come all that naturally for him. It's like he was making decisions. This darkness in Anakin was there all along, and it was in him waiting to take over kind of like a symbiote. And once the right circumstances arrived, such as Padme needing to be saved and Palpatine having the answer, his darkness fully enveloped him and he became Darth Vader. So maybe Qui-Gon knew that if he did indeed stall until Obi-Wan joined him to fight Maul, that he would be acting against the will of the Force entirely. Maybe he knew that Obi-Wan would fail, and it must be no other way. For if he was alive, so many things would have changed. Luke probably would have been raised at the Jedi Temple, assuming Anakin still had kids, and Palpatine would have perhaps manipulated Luke or Leia. If he couldn't have Anakin, then I mean he'd have their children turn into Sith Lords from a younger age, which probably would have been even more devastating, and not because they would have been more powerful than full power potential Anakin, but I say it's more devastating because Anakin would have died for them, kind of like Han Solo did for Kylo, which yeah, it was stupid writing in my opinion, but I feel like Anakin would have done the same thing. Qui-Gon may have seen different outcomes that we're not aware of, kind of like Doctor Strange saw millions of different outcomes in Infinity War. Now, of course, this is just my mind doing its thing, and I think it's an interesting theory to think about, but I imagine the untold story of what Qui-Gon saw during this brief meditation could be rewritten someday, and heck, that could be kind of cool. It would just add to his overall arc by making him sacrificial for the greater good. Things always have to get worse before they get better. Nothing ever just starts great and ends up greater. That's not real life, and it's not proper storytelling in my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed this theory. Shout out to the viewer who came up with this thought-provoking question. Great job, man. Hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next video on Star Wars Theory. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you. Always.